Good day, STEM students. Welcome to General Chemistry 2, Lesson 1, Kinetic Molecular. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to get notified with the latest new video. Learning Competency Use the Kinetic Molecular Model to explain properties of liquids and solids. Our Learning Objectives Compare the properties of liquids and solids with those of gases. Number two, describe the characteristic movement of the particles of gas, liquid, and solid. And number three, apply the kinetic molecular theory to describe liquids and solids. Good day, new normal science students. Anything around us is made up of matter which is made up of a tiny particles called atoms and molecules. So these particles are much too small to be seen by human eyes. The three states of matter are called solid, liquid, and gas. Ice, water, and steam are the three different states of matter of the same material. If you wanted to learn more about this one, finish this video. Let us recall the vocabulary words that will be used in this lesson. We have base. When we say base, this is the homogeneous, physically distinct, and mechanically separable portion of matter present in a non-homogeneous system. Did you get me? Very good. Condensed bases. We have liquids and solids. Let us have the differences between intermolecular and intramolecular forces. When we say intramolecular, in terms of strength, it's strong, while intermolecular is weak. Act within molecules for intramolecular. Act between molecules for intermolecular. How's that? So let's take a closer look. So. This is hydrogen chloride and another hydrogen chloride molecules. So it acts between the molecules. So it's intermolecular attraction. While intramolecular attraction, it acts within the molecule. So this is the type of bond that connects the hydrogen and the chloride or chlorine. Let's continue. Not strongly affected by physical changes. Strongly affected by physical changes like boiling, freezing, and melting point. Chemical bonds and attractive forces determine chemical behavior of substances and determine the state of matter. For intermolecular, it is categorized into London force, hydrogen bonding, and etc. While intramolecular, this is categorized into covalent, ionic, and metallic bonds. The physical properties of a substance depend upon its physical state. Water vapor liquid water and ice all have the same chemical properties but their physical properties are consider considerably different liquids solids are collectively called condensed spaces because their particles are in virtual contact so the two states share little else however kinetic molecular theory of liquids and solids Kinetic molecular theory, also known as particle theory, states that all matter is made up of particles, and these particles are always in motion. Kinetic molecular theory is useful in describing the properties of solids, liquids, and gases at the molecular level. We will describe this by their general motion and amounts of kinetic energy as follows. So we have the different properties. We have mass, shape, volume, compressibility, fluidity, rigidity, diffusion, space or spaces between particles, and interparticle force. For solids, 
it has definite shape, mass, and volume. While liquids, it has definite mass, and for the shape, it acquires the shape of the container. While for the volume, it has definite volume. For gases, it has definite mass, acquires the shape of the container, and indefinite volume. Compressibility. For solids, it's not possible to compress solids. For liquids, it's almost negligible. It's difficult to compress it. While gases, they are highly compressible. For fluidity, not possible for solids. Liquids can flow. And gases can easily flow. For rigidity, it's highly rigid or it's very hard. Liquids, it's less rigid. For gases, not rigid. Because for solids, it's very compact and the atoms cannot move or the particles cannot move about. They just vibrate with their mean position. For liquids, they can move a little bit okay, because of the a uh, small amount of space but for gases it's not rigid because they can flow and they can move freely or randomly for the fusion solids is slow for liquids it's fast and for gases of course it's very fast because they are free space between particles most closely packed like the wood less closely packed like water or liquid water least closely packed like inside the balloon so we have helium or carbon dioxide they can freely move interparticle force it's very strong or the strongest in solids slightly weaker than in solids and negligible in gases I hope you learned something for today so don't forget to click the next lesson thank you